hello guys uh, today is another topic so that is nothing but how do how do we assign enterprises cloud license to users so as you can see i have uh, attended named attended bots and uh, uh, developer bot inside designer citizen and automation developer named user the first thing you have to do is go to admin so basically i have uh, enterprise the trial version it takes uh, 59 days you can request it by going admin to the licenses and here you can if you if it is a community version you will see you will be able to see the uh, request for enterprise version okay yeah so as you can see this uh, i mean uh, i came to the admin and uh, um, yeah, license parts as you can see we have list of uh, licenses which are available and the first thing you need to the first thing you need to do before uh, adding a an user or allocating the license to the user is you have to invite them the first thing you to do that we have to go to our accounts and groups here and uh, in to invite a guy invite here so i already let's say let's go with here and uh, i'll just type my email id my different other email id and i'll give an access to all this So as you can see, we have it showing for allocate licenses. You can directly allocate from here. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll just close this. As you can see, we got it here. So so once they got an email, so once they once once they got an invite, so they have to log in or sign up with the use current existing email ID. To do that, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, go here. It will allow allocate license. So here I click on this. So we have this many law, this many um, licenses which are available. Uh, so I'll go with the uh, automation developer name, which is nothing but a studio license. I'll click on save. So we'll just go back and check the licenses availability now. Yeah, as you can see, I have added my another email address to studio license. So after that, what do we do here? You can go and cross check here. This is the this is my email address and this is my developer license which I already have. Now, once this is done, we have to go back to orchestrator. So you have to remember that we have added the automation attended named user or something. We'll see that. So once you're back with the orchestrator, so you need to go to tenants here, folders. You need to add a user here. So what I'll do, I'll just go here. If you do a drop down, type my email address, I should be able to get this. So I'll add this, and then we'll wait. So the the rows you can add whichever the rows you want to provide for the particular user. I'll give all the access and I'll assign. Yeah, so we have attended user. So, what I'll do, I'll just go back here, manage access. So, we have a user here, so it is enabled. And now I'll go create a machine now. So this is my admin account. I'll add a new machine for me. So I'm going to use the machine template itself. So be here, description should be developer license. You can see the different version. I don't choose it right now. I don't see use the latest version. I don't do this production bot as of now. I click on provision. 
Okay, we find a blah, 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 blah. Okay, now we'll do one thing. I don't, I don't choose. So we'll just click on browser. Yeah, so this is the machine key which I already have. So now, so this, that's it. So uh, you can go back to robots here. See, you can't see anything here. So now you have to do is, all you have to do is go here, go to your assistant. So you need to log in with the URL, correct existing URL. So what you have to do is, just copy this till here. So as you, as you know, the your ID exists within this folder. So once you log in with using this URL, you are able to see your uh, licenses. So what I'll do is I'll just log out from here. So this is my different, I'll log out. So I'll go back here, I'll go to preferences, preferences. I'll go to sign in. Okay, this works. So orchestrator settings by URL. I'm logging with by URL. Download over here. I'm using with URL so so I have a URL already in place. Control V. This is the default tenant. I'll sign in. So you have to make sure that you you are logging in with your with the email ID which you got invite. Okay, I didn't accept the invited. Okay, let me do one thing. I'll accept the uh, invitation from my mobile. Just two seconds. Yeah, so what I'm doing, I'm just accepting the invite from my email address. And I think I'm um, logged in. Yeah, I'm able to log in to my user. Let me sign in again from here. I'll just log out. Cancel this, I'll sign in again. Can't in Google. Yes, this is the email ID which I got invite. Yeah, so I should be able to see the license allocated. So let's see what what does it say. As you can see, it's connected and licensed. This is how it I we will assign the license enterprise version cloud. And so if you want to open your path studio, and you should be able to see developer license assigned to the studio. So currently I'm using 2021 10.3 version of studio. this let me log in again sign out sign. So we'll go here over here, click on start, exit.
Vou copiar daí, pior aí. Como assim, né? Que logo você tá. Vai ter que ir para o outro. Vou vir, sign in. As you can see, guys, we're able to log in. So this is the uh, enterprise open user mode installation. Yeah, this is it. This is how you log in. I mean, this is how you assign license to users. So this is my assigned users, and uh, this is my admin account. Yes, guys. Thank you so much.